you just tell me why you decided to build an arcade, like how the whole process came about? Uh, Midlife crisis. Yeah, I think that's what it was. Oh. Um, just that's a, just a, a desperate attempt to reconnect with my lost youth. I think that's what it is. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, there is. Uh, I think that there is some evidence for that assertion, and that evidence is the arcade. Yeah, it's an attempt to relive those old days, and also to introduce my children and his friends to what I think of as a pretty special time in my life. You know. Well, because they need to be. They need to be set up for their midlife crisis. Right. You know what yeah. I mean? They need to know what it looks like when daddy goes crazy. like the games that were important to me that I had like fond memories of and started looking locally for machines and couldn't really find what I wanted so then I started looking online and I found a place in St. Louis that the guy finds these machines and then restores them himself and sells them and he actually had everything on my list except for one machine so I bought everything from him he put them all in a truck and sent them to my house Sorry, I didn't tell you they were gonna be here. Pardon? I didn't tell you they were gonna be here. You did yesterday. I didn't know you were taking pictures of me. Yeah, they're gonna be filming it all. Okay, good. So we started off before we got the machines by uh, first of all cleaning it out because yeah. it was sort of our hoarder room. Painted the walls dark, dark blue, like a midnight blue. Antibacterial paint. <laughs> and you know what I mean? Uh, put down carpet. Um, right over the, the cats. Put up curtains, black curtains, you know, to hide the shelves that I had in there. Put some black light in, a little disco ball. I saw it in a preliminary stage, and I was, I was still impressed. One day I was at his place, and uh, he was like, oh, hey, come and check out my garage. I'm building an arcade. And I was like, what, what are you talking about? And it was just pitch black in there, so, and there was no machines in there yet. And uh, I was like, all right. I figured it was just some, you know, midlife crisis thing. But, you know, clearly since then things have progressed quite a bit. arcade machines a long time ago. I had picked them up from an arcade near my house that was actually uh, renovating. They were getting rid of a whole wing of the arcade and turning it into laser tag, and so I picked them up for like a couple hundred dollars. And I loved having them and just sort of messing with them. Um, ended up moving a couple times, and they're a huge pain to move, and so it was easier just to sell them than to move them. Um, but I've missed having them. Recently, Kara and I were at a restaurant that had a bunch of old arcade machines, and we were just having a blast. And, uh, and we were like, you know, we could turn our garage into an arcade. We're not doing anything in there. And that just, <laughs> and this is the result. They have one like this. Did you get your little arcade machine? Oh, yeah. They have one like this. I 
first saw it at Fourth of July when we were all over there, when he had a machine or two, but in its full glory was when we all went over there the other night and, uh, and, and played. so much love and care into it and just it was cool to see his face while everybody played the games and like for him to get to see everybody like experience it for the first time and him coming around and being like oh okay so here's how this machine works like you have to push this button if you want to be Leonardo and like this one if you want to be you know he's just like the arcade shop owner that knows like the weird quirks about his machines and has to you know tell you about them before you can play and stuff I just thought it was really cool yes 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 Clearly, the star of the evening was was Dig Dug, and because uh, we were trying to beat Scott's score, I guess. I guess it was all of Penny Arcade versus Scott Kurtz, and uh, there was there were there was some collusion going on to make that happen. Oh, this is such this is a good path, man. This is it. This is the one. Oh, this is the one, man. This is the one. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Oh God, I can't do it. It's all right. It's all right. Now oh. you know the technique. Oh. Dude, we can beat this Somebody shit. Somebody else has to we do it. We can fucking beat this shit. Levin, you said you're up, right? Uh, that night I could not beat his score. The next morning, when I went down, though, yeah, I did beat his score. It. After I slept on it. Yeah. I thought it felt really, really good. Like, it, it was really odd. I haven't been in an arcade uh, in a long, long time, and it definitely had the right vibe to it. I mean, honestly, I just like hanging out with everyone at Penny Arcade. So anytime I can do that outside of the normal day-to-day -day work context, I, I, I will jump on that opportunity, but that was a lot of fun. I would love to do a night like we did. A uh, regular night. Regular night, like once a month, have an arcade night, people come over. Um, you know, I think that would be awesome. That's the other thing about the arcade that you can recreate with the nights is the performance aspect. Yeah. Right. Yeah, watching someone play is fun. Yeah. It flips all the same yeah. switches, right? Like, it's nice to be able to just spend some time with friends in that environment. You know, I didn't know them back then when, when I was a kid. So it's definitely cool. So what you're telling me is there was a group of Penny Arcadians just taking turns trying to beat my high score. Yeah. And they couldn't. Yeah. Pussies. I'm going to come over and beat that high score. In fact. Score crashed. Hey, uh, I'm being filmed right now and being interviewed about the arcade. Huh? I need to come over tonight and beat your high score. So, no fucking excuses. I don't give a shit what's happening. I don't care if your youngest is smearing shit on the walls. I'm coming over tonight to beat that high score. All right, that's fine. All right. All right, I'll see you tonight. All right, I'll see you tonight. Bye. Bye. Cut to a cry that says, Scott did not beat the high score. <laughs>